Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today dahil in time po sa paglilipat namin, i-share ko sa inyo yung types of housing dito sa Korea and types po ng pag-rent. Kung hindi po ay bibili, there are two types of pag-rent dito sa Korea. But then before that, let me just explain yung mga terms na maririnig niyo sa akin. So we have Guan Libi. Guan Libi refers to the association dues or yung monthly dues na babayaran if you're going to rent. And also we have the pyong. Pyong yung Korean unit of measurement for space. Pyong is equivalent to 3.3 square meters. Since di ba naghahanap kami ng house, I want to share with you guys ba yung types of housing dito sa Korea. We have number 1, Goshiwon. So Goshiwon, these are ideal for students and employees or kung Halimbawa, kailangan mo lang talaga ng matutulugan. Um, Goshiwon is ideal for you. Normally, you only have a bed, a sink, and a toilet. At uh, your own bathroom. So, maliit siya. And ideal lang talaga siya for one person. So, minsan, pwede kang magtanggap ng bisita because you still have your own room or own space. But then, it's really small. Pros nga yun, um, mas mura yung rent and then mas mura yung security deposit. So, hindi mo kailangan maglabas ng malaking pera for the security deposit. Next naman, we have what you call office tell. So, office tell, if you want a bigger space, if you want more privacy, um, ito yung bagay sa inyo. However, ang cons nito is mas mahal yung rent, mas mahal yung security deposit, at mas mahal yung Guan Libi. Kasi when you start renting an office tell, you will pay for the Guan Libi. Remember what I told you earlier? Guan Libi. So, you're gonna pay for Guan Libis every month. And also, mataas yung security deposit and yung monthly rent. What are the pros? Pros, normally office tells are office buildings from the term itself. So, meron normally may elevator and normally furnished yung unit. Average, it's a studio um, studio unit or a one-bedroom unit. So, normally ganun siya. So, mahal, pero if you want privacy, yun nga, you can go for an office tell. It's ideal for couple, also families, kung kaya yung um, mag-TS sa isang maliit na area. But then, um, ayun nga, maganda kasi normally bago yung mga buildings niya, so it's fine. Next, we have yung villa. So, villas are the common um, types of house na ni-rent ng mga families and couples kasi it has bigger space. So, if you're looking for one to three bedroom units, you can go for a villa. Ang pros nito, yun nga, malaki, mas malaki yung space niya, and you have your your privacy, of course. And mas mura siya compared to office tell, because yung Guan Libi niya mas mababa. Kasi office tells, mas mataas yung Guan Libi kasi merong elevator, merong mga facilities. But for villas, normally, Lalo na yung mga old villas, yung mga kita yung mga bricks, bricks sa mga sa mga movies. Normally walang mga elevator yung mga yun. But then, these villas are mid-rise buildings. So hanggang fourth floor, fifth floor kung mataas yung mga villas. And villas yung may mga panjihan na tinatawag. If you watch the what's this movie? Fireside. Yun. Um, panjiha. Normally you see them in um, villas. So, So next one po is what you call the apartu or equivalent to high-rise buildings or condominiums sa Philippines. So ito yung mga matataas na buildings, may elevator, may security guard, may lobby, may front desk or merong children's playground sa labas, may park sa gilid, ganon, and may parking area. So, yun yung tinatawag na apat. So, normally, kapag nakatira ka dito sa apat, um, they think of you as wealthy or yamanin. Yun, ganun. So, anyway, ganda yung mga location ng mga apat. And accessible sa mga 
um, bus stations and subway stations and also malapit sa mga sa mga like offices and all that. Once naman, sobrang mahal. As in, mahal na mahal. Una una, if you're gonna rent um this kind of housing, mataas yung monthly rental and at the same time, mataas din yung security deposit. So, yun, yun yung ano. And also, since um, may facilities, may elevator and all that stuff na sinabi ko kanina, mataas din yung guanlibi or yung monthly dues. And last but not the least naman, is what you call the Dandon Chutek. I'm not sure if I said it right, but it is... Hold on. Yeah, Dandok Chutek. So, yung mga houses na you have your own yard or you have your own garden and gate. So, Dandok Chutek po, syempre, mas mahal po, like a pato, since it's a single detached house, um, mas mahal, mas mahal siya, and normally nasa countryside or outside of Seoul, yung mga ganitong klase ng bahay. Normally, yung mga ganitong houses, ginagawa nga na mga vacation houses ng mga, mga, Elites dito sa Seoul. So, ayun po. So, that's what you call the Dandon Chutek. In our case, we opted for Villa because that is cheaper and you get a bigger space. So, now I will explain naman po yung types of renting here in Seoul. Meron po dalang klase ng pag rent And yun po is Jonse and Wonse. Jonse, ito yung you pay for a monthly rent. For a security deposit and for Guanli B. Compare po dun sa John Se, Wall Se has as mawawa po yung nire require nila na security deposit. But then you have to pay for the monthly rent. Now, for the John Se naman po, ito yung interesting. Kasi ang John Se, you won't pay for a monthly rent. Yes, you heard it right. Hindi po tayo mga bayad ng monthly rent for a John Se. Pero, for John Se, you really need to pay a huge amount of security deposit. For So, just imagine um, if you're gonna rent for a villa, like a two bedroom villa, you have to prepare 12 million pesos, Philippine money. Pataas yung, yung security deposit. Pero, hindi po tayo magbabayan ng monthly rent. We only have to pay for the Guan Libi or yung association juice. Got so, may pros and cons kasi after 2 years or after mag-end yung contract mo, makukuha mo yung security deposit, hindi ka nagbayad ng monthly rent. Um, yun nga lang, you have to prepare for, for this kind of rental. Kailangan mong mag-prepare ng malaking amount. But then, after 2 years, makukuha mo din naman po yung security deposit. So, if you will ask, kasi ako medyo business-minded din ako, naisip ko, Paano sila hikita doon eh, hindi ka nagbayad ng rent, nagbayad ka lang ng monthly dues, ba? So, in a way, kikita sila, depende po kung paano nila paikutin yung pera. So, yung iba, they open a new business, yung iba, yun sa stock market. So, kasi since it's a huge amount of lump sum money, um, pwede nilang i-invest in some something else na pwede silang mag-generate ng income. Kasi total, I ibabalik nila sa iyo yung, yung deposit after your contract. So, ayun po guys. So, sana may natutunan kayo and please keep on watching my other vlogs.